Well, this year has been very difficult for investors. The bond returns are negative pretty much everywhere. Equities are struggling with the exception of the US and, and a few sectors. It's been a year of geopolitical risks, uh, worries about China, a tighter Fed. So a very difficult year for investors, which we believe may continue also for 2019. Next year will not be very different from this year. I think the main difference will be that the regional allocation or the performance of regional equity market will look very, very different from today. But overall, we expect equities to be flat or slightly down. Uh, we expect bond yields actually to remain pretty much at the current levels. Uh, and we expect um, some big change in terms of currencies. So overall, still a very challenging environment. And I have to say the big change is going to be the US underperforming, uh, Japan, uh, and especially the UK and Switzerland will do much better. An emerging market will kind of stabilize, but the US market will be probably US equities the one that will be more under pressure. The main risk for, for next year is going to be, I believe, uh, a potential rise in inflation. Uh, a lot of investors believe that inflation will pick up, but I think very few expect inflation to become a problem. Uh, the second potential risk, obviously, is trade wars. We don't know what's going to happen. If there is an escalation between the US and China, this has massive implication. Potentially, an escalation could trigger a global recession. But at the end of the day, a trade war means lower growth and higher inflation, and that's obviously not, to be, not, not going to be good. Uh, the third risk, probably Europe. Uh, we see what's going on in, in Italy. We see Brexit. Every time uh, we want to invest in Europe, there is always something happening that makes us think that maybe Europe is not the best place to be. So I think the Italian situation may get out of control with this uh, potentially a debt crisis. I, think, I don't think the, the risk is very high, but potentially is, is actually significant. And finally, the Fed. The Fed should be, uh, I think, prudent, uh, but we cannot rule out that maybe because they want to show the independence uh, towards Trump and the Trump administration, they may tighten too much, and we know. Uh, when monetary policy is tightened too much, typically markets and the economies tend to suffer a lot. The investment opportunity for next year will be in defensive markets, uh, UK, Switzerland. Uh, and I have to say that on the equity, in, the, in the equity markets, we also feel that there are some real pocket of values in emerging markets. I would like to mention China. Everybody seems to be worried about China. Debt levels too high, growth much weaker, uh, trade wars. We feel that at the current valuation, there was a big decline in equity markets in China this year. This is probably the right time to buy. And the Chinese market always have a very different cycle driven by policy. And China is probably the only economy where you're going to see fiscal and monetary easing next year. In terms of bonds, not much really. I think inflation-protected bonds in the U.S. could be one, but also in emerging markets, maybe Russia, where the interest rates or real rates are very high, could be an opportunity. And maybe gold, in an environment where inflation is picking up geopolitical risks, a peak in the dollar, I think gold can do actually can do relatively well.